もう死んでいる何ンガリモケランガンデレデレチュメアンプラクティシャカパーラミモラタマガティラマガダンゴマガマガカイビガンマガカビリアン。Welcome to Sports Hub Reaction and Commentary Videos. For today's reaction video, panoorin naman natin itong isa sa pinakamagagandang laban ni Efren Reyes. At dito nga, nakakalaban niya itong isa sa magaling na pool player ng US, itong si James Barracks. At dito ginanap ito noong 2005, nangyari yan sa Derby City Classics. Nine ball championship, ito yung final match nilang dalawa. Ang kanilang laban ay 9 balls, yung kanilang uh, match ay race to 7. Ang kanilang uh, breaking format ay uh, winner's break. At dito nga makikita natin naglaban uh, sila sa lag kung sino ang magbe-break sa rack number 1. Dito nga mapapansin niyo si Efren Reyes yung sa kanyang uh, cue stick no, medyo meron siyang uh, makeshift dahil uh, wala yung kanyang uh, ginagamit talaga na pang billiard pero itong kanyang uh, tako na ito ay uh, ginawa niya ng paraan para magamit niya dito sa kanilang laban ni James Barak. Si Efren Reyes ang nanalo sa lag kaya siya ang magbe-break dito sa rack number 1. At ang breaking ni Reyes dito medyo malakas yan kaya may pumasok dito sa side pocket no? yung one ball pumasok sa side pocket. Panoorin natin kung maka-break and run si Reyes dito sa rack number 1. Six or seven days, and I couldn't help but notice the fellow out there, Jamie Barracks. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know what his name was. I didn't know him at all. But I did see him shooting, uh, you know, on the table. I like the way he shoots. He's solid over the ball. He's really a calm player, you know. And I said, "Hmm, this kid is a pretty good player." Yeah, yeah. he's better than that, and he's holding up real well under the, the situation. Look at this control. That was great control. Go one rail, don't hit anything, fall on the ball. But you're right. I I never heard of him either. Barrett. When I saw him today, I said, "What's he doing on the table?" This is for the tournament players. He was one of the last four. And he really is holding up very well. He's not intimidated. I think he talked himself into going all out. He's in a good spot now. Nothing to lose. Just relax and play your best. If he gives you a shot, you know. Efren has been known not to give people any chances. Uh, these two players met uh, a little while ago, as a matter of fact, a little earlier in the tournament. And uh, that match was a very close decision won by Reyes, 7-6, to six, I do believe. Yeah. So therefore, Jamie Barracks really isn't the type of a player that's easily intimidated. No, he's tough. Napakahusay nung uh, ginagawa na yan ni Efren Reyes. No? Makikita ninyo yung uh, talent talaga ni Reyes dito, yung cue ball control at saka yung uh, uh, ball positioning. At uh, dito nga si Efren Reyes nung uh, makalaban niya itong si James Barak ay nasa 51 years old na siya. At si James Barak naman ay nasa 35 years of age. Kaya malaki yung agwat nila dito at uh, makikita natin mukhang veteran si to, veteran player versus dito sa promising uh, pool master ng United States of America. Dito nga uh, nasa final match sila dito sa Derby City Classics, no, nine ball uh, championship match. At uh, dito nasa last ball si Reyes. Aiming siya dito sa ball number 9 sa corner pocket sa ibaba. Pasok yung 9 at uh, makita natin naka first blood diyan si Reyes, 1-0 ang score. 
At uh, si Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break dito sa rack number 2. Kaya panoorin natin kung maka-break and run siya ulit dito sa rack number 2. In the side. That's the ball he's been playing because that's that's where he's getting his production. The one in the side, he plays it, okay. and if he's able to put it down, I look for him to do the seven good has again. gone more consistently, but lately it's been missing close. But I don't think that's forever. That's close again. He made the one in the side though, and he played position on the two. <laughs> look at this. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You know. When this Pumasok na naman yung uh, one ball doon sa side pocket. No? Mukhang uh, alam na ni Efren Reyes itong uh, breaking uh, style na ito dahil napag-practice niya ito bago talaga sila maglaban ni Barak. At nakita niya rin sa ibang mga player na dito sa pagbe-break na ito doon sa angle na yon laging pumapasok yung one ball sa side pocket. At dito nga naipasok ni Reyes yung uh, ball number 2 at aiming siya ngayon dito sa next object ball number 3. So panoorin natin kung maka-break and run si Reyes dito sa rack number 2. Danny, this is the key shot in this rack right here. Notice all balls are in the open. The 3 to the 4. Now the 3 is a fairly difficult shot because he's got to hit it with some speed. And there's a green 6 ball in the middle of the table that he may find himself behind if he's not careful. He's going on the if inside of it. If he's not careful, it. okay. Yeah, yeah. He made sure that he went on the inside of it and didn't have to deal with it. And now he's got on the rail, but he has no problem getting position. He just has to make the ball. He's going to the uh, five. This is a very difficult shot. He's straight in on the four, Danny. Very difficult shot. Notice how hard he had to hit it, and he forced well, the cue ball to his right. He had a little angle, and, and in this game, we're dealing with round objects. When you got a little angle, it's enough. It will glance. See how much that glance? And look at this, automatic. He just makes it look so easy, you don't think he's ever going to miss. Maybe he won't. He'll take the same angle he's left with off the 6 to the 7, cutting the 7 to the left, sending the cue ball to the right, and then toward the 8. He did a little different, but you know, he had a, all right. Yeah, he, well, he must have had an off angle. I didn't see it. He did. Angle. It wasn't straight in, so he decided. And look, he fell on the ball right, so now he can get close to the 8 with this angle. At uh, ganun nga, mga kaibigan, mga kabilyard, no? napakahusay talaga niya dito sa pag, uh, uh, pagpasok ng mga bola at dito sa ball positioning ni Reyes. Nasa last ball si Reyes sa rack number 2 at mukhang makakabreak and run talaga siya dito. Pasok ang 9, 2-0 ang score natin dyan mga kaibigan, mga kabilyard. No? Medyo pahinga muna si uh, James Barak or si Jamie Barracks dito sa kanyang uh, upuan. At uh, makita natin si Reyes ulit ang magbe-break sa rack number 3. At uh, dito nga, nasa position siya ulit. No? At uh, napansin ninyo, pumasok na naman sa pagka pangatlong pagkakataon yung ball number 1 doon sa side pocket. At dito nga, mapansin ninyo may available shot na naman si Reyes dito sa ball number 2. Kaya tingnan natin at panoorin kung maka-break and run siya ulit dito sa rack number 3. Well, if you remember when he came to Houston, he used... Uh... A phony name and he went for a hundred dollars in the Calcutta I believe his name was Chico Morales Caesar Morales Caesar Morales Caesar Morales he went for a hundred dollars in the Calcutta and you know the whole truth of the matter at the time he could have said Efren Reyes and, and hardly anybody would have known okay that was the key shot in the rack and you can see now why it was the key shot in the rack he hit it with a little bit too much speed now he's found himself in back of the four. Now this is actually the first mistake I've seen him make and, and this is the second match he's played today. This is the first mistake I've seen him make. But according to most uh, experts around pool, if Efren has a flaw, it's jumping the ball. So you don't see him grabbing a jump cue and trying to go over the ball. He's just kicking to hit it. Maybe to make it. Yeah, you know, he's looking at it real hard. He's kicking to make this ball. And he's so uh, experienced in the kicking game. You know, he probably kicked yeah. as well as anyone. Medyo kinapos ng uh, positioning si Reyes doon. At ito nga, nagkaroon siya ng uh, mahirap na position doon para sa tres. At dito nakapag-play uh, safe naman si Reyes. Ma mahusay yung pagkaka-play safe niya dyan. 
Naka-chamba siya ng play safe at dito nga back to table naman si uh, James Barak para tumira pero nakaharang itong 4 no dito sa likuran ng 3. Uh, so, tingnan natin kung uh, makik ni uh, Barak itong uh, ball number 3. This is his first shot of the match by the way. A resounding kick here. Let's see what happens. I think he's going to have to hit this with some speed. The three balls and no man's land and he's kicked it and hit it solidly. Made the nine. Oh, he made the nine. I swear he did. Oh, oh. no. Okay. <laughs> Close. I got the backer excited, Billy. Now, the shot that Ray is, is, is uh, presented with here is a fairly difficult shot, but he's got the ability to hit it with the correct speed. He should go underneath with the cue ball, saying the cue ball. Masama yung pagkakakik doon ni uh, Barak no? At uh, dito nga medyo na open ang table dito kay Reyes At maganda na itong layout ng uh, table para maka, uh, clean, maka, maka clean up shot dito si Reyes At dito nga pumasok yung tres at maganda ang uh, layout ng table Tingnan natin kung maka lusot si Reyes dito sa rack number 3 Oh, he smiled and stuck out his tongue. That's uh, what he does when he does something wrong. That's the kind of a look that he gives us. Yeah. But nevertheless, nevertheless, here we are. He's looking to win game number three. Mukang mapapadali itong uh, score dito dahil nasa tutok na, no? Combination. 5 to 9 combination sa corner pocket. Pasok ang 9 at 5. Panalo si Reyes sa rack number 3. 3-0 ang score natin dyan. Tambak ng uh, tatlo, no? Itong si... Uh, James Barracks at uh, dito si Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break sa rack number 4 at uh, makikita natin dito mukha talagang uh, nasa kondisyon si Reyes no nasa peak na siya ng kanyang uh, paglalaro ng billiard dito sa ganitong edad na 51 years old no nagsimula yan nung 45 years old at dito nga umabot na siya ng 51 years old noong 2005 dito sa Derby City Classic 9 ball final match Si Efren Reyes ang magbe-break dito sa rack number 4. Panoorin natin mga kabilyard kung maka-break and run siya ulit dito sa rack number 4. Any kind of like silly, violent move, nothing. He's just a gentleman, loves to play, and he is one of the best players I ever saw for sure. So end ball went that time. Okay, here we go. The one's coming back up table, the close to the side, but falling short of the side. But and also, the two ball falling behind. May pumasok na isang bola doon sa ibaba, no, sa corner pocket. At uh, makita natin dito, may available shot naman siya dito sa ball number one. At uh, pang-apat na break na yan ni Reyes na may pumasok. Mukhang sinuswerte talaga dito si Efren Reyes. At uh, mapansin natin talagang napakahusay nung kanyang uh, pagbe-break na yan, no. 4 in a row may pumasok at maganda ang uh, positioning nitong cue ball para sa next object ball. So tingnan natin at panoorin kung maka-break and run siya dito sa rack number 4. Offside. Awful lot to do here. I don't know. I, I, I wasn't even sure he was going to shoot because he could get the worst of making the ball. Oh, look at He's not going to be safe. And you know, you know what's coming now, don't you? Medyo alanganin ang tira ni Reyes dito sa ball number 2. So, tingnan natin kung ano ang uh, discarded ni Reyes dito. At uh, mukha talagang pinapahirapan niya itong kalaban niya, no? Nag-play uh, shape sa dito at uh, dinikit itong cue ball dito sa likuran ng tres. Medyo mahirap talaga ang position yan. At uh, mapansin ninyo, medyo nasa likuran talaga ng tres yan itong uh, cue ball. Kaya tinatanggalan talaga ni Reyes ng uh, momentum at uh, diskarte itong kanyang kalaban. Kaya tingnan naman natin si James Barak kung uh, maikikshot niya itong dos. Panoorin natin mga kabilyard. And the uh, unlucky Jimmy Barak steps to the table once again having to kick. No hit. Medyo masama ang tira doon no? Foul yan at uh, ball in hand naman Kay Efren Reyes 
At alam, naman, alam natin mga kaibigan, mga kabilyard, kapag naka-ball in hand si Reyes ay nasa 96% yung uh, probability na ma-complete niya itong rack no? dahil doon sa positioning ng uh, bola. At dito nga aiming si Reyes sa ball number 2. Tingnan natin kung maka-position siya dito sa next object ball. Itong ball number 3, pinasunod niya yung bola at ang ganda ng position. Tingnan natin kung maka-score siya dito sa rack number 4. Panoorin natin mga kabilyard. Blocking the pocket for the 4. So Reyes is going to have to look elsewhere for position on the 4. He's got 5 other pockets he could play to and I believe he played for the side. Now he's going to have to go one rail from the 4 to the 5. He's going to have to elevate here, Danny. A little bit, yeah. Now, he can either play position for the upper right-hand corner or the lower right-hand corner. I think it's the, the Upper right-hand yeah. corner. He actually overdid it a little bit, but I'm sure he's going to handle this because position is automatic. It has right. nothing to do but make the ball. Exactly. He'll just hit it with a center ball, float it in, go cross table for position for the six. And uh, barring any unforeseen things happening, this this match is going to be four to nothing in favor of Reyes. And James Barrick says yet had an opportunity to step to the table with an offensive shot. Yeah. No, he's been snookered twice, and his only two shots have been kicks. One he hit. At yun nga, nakita naman natin kung papaano ipinasok ni Reyes yung mga bola na yan at ang ganda pa ng ball positioning dito sa 8. Mukhang uh, hindi talaga pagbibigyan ni Reyes itong kanyang kalaban. At dito, pumosisyon pa itong 9 no? sa corner pocket. Napakahusay. Mukhang uh, matatamba ka ni Reyes itong kalaban niya. Pasok ang 9. 4-0 ang score natin dyan. Lamang na lamang si Reyes. Tambak siya. At makita natin dyan si uh, Efren Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break sa rock number 5. At dito talagang uh, pinakita ni Efren Reyes yung kanyang uh, pagka-dominance no? dito sa kanyang kalaban na si James Barak or si Jamie Barak. At dito nga mapapansin natin pang-apat na ng beses ni Efren Reyes yan para mag-champion dito sa Derby City Classic. 9 ball finals no at uh, dalawang beses na rin siya naging uh, overall champion sa De Derby City Classic at uh, two time 8 ball world champion itong si Reyes sa panahon na ito at isa naman sa uh, world 9 ball championship at dito si Efren Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break sa rack number 5 panoorin natin kung uh, maka-score ulit dito si Reyes the stats are Reyes 944 and Barracks 000. There goes the end ball again. And he has a little bit of a cut, but he can get position if he makes it for sure. He'd like to have the cue ball right where it is now. And he might have to go in the rail on the inside of the four. Uh, yeah, he's probably going to aim at the four, considering the four is in Not front of the side idea. pocket. Yeah, You're right. That'll so, that'll hold them for position, right. too. So therefore, as uh, as accurately as he controls the cue ball, I wouldn't be surprised to see him cut the one in with inside English, going toward the pink four. Perfect shot, and he hit the four, just like you said. Not accidental, because that ball assured him of getting position if and, he hit it. And, ex and exactly. And it also increased the accuracy of the shot because he was able to hit it with a little harder speed. You know, we're winding down here. This is going to be the final match of the tournament. It looks like it just started. It's over already. This is it. This is the final match of 2005 Derby City Classic. Now he's laying a little awkward here on the three. He may have to go cross table twice and stay underneath the eight and accept a little longer shot on the five. That's exactly what he did. Although the longer shot looks pretty easy anyway. Well, when he's shooting it, yeah. it looks even easier. You're right. 
Well, what do you do here? Do you pop it in and play for the seven in the side, or do you try to hit rails? Oh, I think you go down to the bottom cushion and then come back up. Then you have multiple pockets for position for the seven. He'll go down to the bottom cushion and end up to the left of the seven and play position to one of the other pockets like this. That's what he did. And he got straight in perfectly. And this is rack number five, and once again, Jamie Barracks has yet to shoot an offensive shot. Matter of fact, Pat Fleming... At sinabi nga ng mga magagaling na pool player, no? alam na this, last two balls si Reyes dito sa rack number 5. At uh, makita natin talagang uh, pinakita ni Reyes dito yung sa kanyang uh, supremacy sa pagbibilyard. No? 5-0, tambak si uh, Jamie Barracks dyan. Hindi pa talaga nakontento si Reyes dito, tinambakan niya. At uh, race to 7 lang ito mga kaibigan, mga kabilyard. At na malapit na mapunta sa top of the hill itong si Reyes. Siya ang magbe-break dito sa rack number 6. 5-0 ang score natin. May pumasok na naman isang bola doon sa corner pocket. At uh, mukhang humarang ng konti itong uh, isang bola no, dito sa cue ball. Kaya medyo mahirap ang positioning dito ni Reyes. Pwede siyang mag-play uh, safe or mag-push dito sa position ng cue ball. Panoorin natin mga kabilyard. I'm sure Efren's gonna push somewhere. Where, I don't know, but he's, I would, uh, under the circumstances, I'll try, I would push uh, towards the center spot. I mean, not the center spot, the spot. And this end of the table, and then kick at the left side of the one and try to come off it, going behind uh, this four ball. And it's, A very possible shot with players pushing. I like that. Let's see what happens if he just you know doesn't even let him see the ball. I would push. I would try to put him on top of the two. That's where And I would dare push. him to shoot. I would try to put him on oh. top of the two. Well, I like the shot I come up with because it's a pretty good hit. Oh, he wants to leave him straight in on the ball. and Maybe he's feeling sorry. He wants the guy to, to shoot something in. He tried to reposition the cue ball close or on the rail, leaving him... Mukhang napakaluwang nitong uh, push ni Efren Reyes na ito, no? Open-open ang table para dito kay uh, James Barak. Nakita naman natin yung kanyang push at uh, binigyan niya ng chance na makatira itong uh, kanyang kalaban. Tingnan, naman na, tingnan natin kung uh, ma-perfect ito ni James Barak at maka-run out siya dito sa rack number 6. Medyo pinagbigyan nga ni Reyes talaga dito at uh, ito nga napaka uh, ganda no? nung uh, tinira na yan ni Barak. Nag-draw uh, at backspin kaya nakakuha siya ng magandang posisyon dito sa ball number 2. Kaya dito panoorin natin mga kabilyard kung maka-run out dito si Barak sa rack number 6. Like you say, Efren dared him. He wanted to put him right on the rail so he couldn't draw the ball and uh, he didn't quite get on the rail. Nice shot. Nice shot. Well, the three to the four, the four to the five, and the five to the six is rather routine. Mm -hmm. Now, for the six to the seven, and then from the seven to the nine. Actually, for the seven to the nine may be a little bit of a problem if he doesn't get real good on the seven. Well, under the layout here, it's the only one you could say could be a problem because it's the only tough situation or not easy. I should put it that way. It's the only situation that's not easy. So... You know, percentage-wise, if, if if a gun is on your head and you had to pick a, a place for him to go astray, it would have to be six to the seven. Right. And if I were he, I would really strongly consider pocketing the seven in the lower left-hand corner. Not that it's that much more difficult than the upper left-hand corner. I think it's as, I think it's slightly better. Well, it is position-wise. Yeah. And the reason I, I feel position on the seven in the lower left-hand corner is slightly better because it's easier to attain a good shot because you have to do less traveling with the cue ball and also because of the position of the nine down this end of the table. Well, this part of the game isn't anything tricky at all. Now, I want, now here's where he has to make it. Well, he's made up his mind because the angle that he's left himself with on the six is rather flat suggesting to me that he's played position for the seven in the lower left-hand corner. Yeah, he just looked at that. So I imagine that's what he's doing. He want, he would like to get pretty close to this. It would make everything easy. 
And I would say that's pretty close. I'd say that uh, that's just about as good as you could get. Well, I'll tell you what. Funny things have happened. He's just... Mukhang nakabalik at nakakuha ng momentum itong si James Barracks no? dito sa rack number 6 dahil nga ito sa pinagbigyan ni Efren Reyes. At uh, mukha talagang uh, binigyan siya ng chance dito para makabawi. Alam naman ni si Reyes kapag mag-push yan talagang uh, mahihirapan yung kalaban. No? Pero dahil dito nakita naman natin kung paano nag-push si Reyes. Open table ang ginawa ni Reyes na yon para makapasok at maka-score itong si James. Mukhang naawa talaga dyan si Reyes. Ano sa palagay ninyo mga kaibigan, mga kabilyard? Pinagbigyan ba talaga ni Reyes itong si Barak dito sa rack number 6? Pakicomment nyo po dyan sa ibaba. At dito nga, last ball si Barak dito sa rack number 6. Medyo alanganin pa yung pasok na yun, no? pero ganun pa man pumasok ang 9. 5-1 ang score natin at uh, si James Barak naman ang magbe-break dito sa rack number 7. So tingnan natin kung maka-break and run siya dito sa rack number 7. Yeah, I've uh, I've been uh, I've been informed that the first time they played, Reyes had him 5 the one and it went to think Hill Hill. Well, he made the other corner ball. Okay, but he didn't really get the results, good results that Efren was getting. If you notice very quickly, the, the seven ball positioned behind the blue two. It's a possible combination, but first he's got to bank the one cross side, reposition the cue ball for that combination, pocket the combination, and control the two. A lot of work. Well, see, the combination is okay, but when you shoot the combination, you're not sure where the two is going to go or if you're going to have a shot. I would... I mean, if he can possibly get there, I like just cross side bank on the two because he stays there for the three. So he might go naturally three rails to the cross side bank. Let's see what happens there. He doesn't even want to deal with that cross side bank or any of that stuff you came up with. He just wanted to play safe. Mukhang hindi talaga kinaya doon ni Barak itong ball number one, kaya nag-play safe siya muna. At uh, dito si Reyes naman ang titira, medyo long shot ito at uh, alanganin ang posisyon dahil nakatago dito sa likuran ng ball number 3. So tingnan natin kung anong gagawin ni Reyes dito sa uno. Wala stick talaga itong si Reyes. No? Nakita nyo po yung counter safety dyan ni Reyes. Medyo malupit talaga yan at... Uh, Pinagbigyan niya kanina pero ngayon medyo binabawi na niya yung sa kanyang uh, pagbibigay at dito nag uh, play safe si Reyes at wala na naman available shot itong si James Barak. Kaya discard na ni Barak ito kung paano patamaan itong uno. Panoorin natin mga kabilyard. If I wasn't really absolutely sure that I was going to hook him, I would have strongly considered banking that one cross side because yeah. you, you really have to steal this match. Now you can't you can't, you can't wait on him to do something bad. Yeah, you're not going to gain games playing safe. You may win one at a time. Yeah, he struck that, yeah, he struck a little bit too hard. Medyo masama yung uh, pagkaka two rail kick shot doon ni Barack sa tres, no? Foul yan at uh, ball in hand naman dito kay Efren Reyes. At alam natin kapag uh, naka ball in hand itong si Reyes, 96% ang uh, probability na matatapos niya yung table dahil doon sa pagkaka kuha niya ng ball positioning dahil nasa ball in hand ito. At dito nga, mapansin niyo medyo very disappointed si uh, Jamie Barrax no? sa kanyang uh, tira na yan. At uh, ito si Reyes, aiming siya dito sa ball number 1, dito sa kanyang tira sa rack number 7. Panoorin natin mga kabilyard. Oh, how about in the side close? No, he's no. at the bank. Hey, that side pocket is awfully small. You're right. It closes up when you're on an angle. It's an awful small pocket. So he got the bank here. There's no problem. Just roll forward, come off the seven. You're going towards the three. He's going to draw it out to the middle and shoot the three in this pocket near us. Napakaswabe yung tira na yun ni Efren Reyes doon sa dos, no? sa bang shot na yun. At dito nga, dahil doon sa tira na yun, nagkaroon siya ng ball position dito sa tres. Kaya tingnan natin kung uh, makauna sa top of the hill itong si Reyes dito sa rack number 7. Panoorin natin mga kabilyard. Well, the thing about it is the cue ball is going for position if you make the 3. If the 8 interferes a little bit, which it does, 
he's still going to get position without having to do anything but pocket the three. No difficulty at all. Not that time. None at all. Once again, he's going to have to elevate and draw the cue ball straight back. Yes. Now, one, he has to stay solid on the table because this is a very demanding shot. He's a machine right now. He's just not going to miss, and he's not going to, you know, fail to execute what he has to do. He's doing it all just right. He's going to go forward here because that's the natural way to play it, considering the position of the eight. He really doesn't have to do anything with the seven in terms of position on the eight off the seven. He played the safe route to the seven. He'll then play the seven in the lower left-hand corner, and he'll have choices on the eight to the nine. which you obviously are, it's obvious now. And well, with the pocketing of the eight and the nine, Danny, the match will then be six to one in favor of Reyes. Yeah, he's taken away the little excitement there could be in a nip and tuck, hill, hill match. These are going to be two romps with the opponent never in the game. Pasok ang Nuevi dyan at uh, maganda talaga ang pinapakita dito ni Efren Reyes, no? Top of the hill si Reyes, una siya sa score dyan, 6-1, tambak ng limang uh, puntos. At dito nga, napakaganda pa ng uh, break ni Reyes dito sa rack number 8, no? At uh, may pumasok na bola doon sa corner pocket sa itaas. At may available shot pa siya dito sa next object ball niya, dito sa ball number 2. At uh, mukhang uh, kukuha dito ng uh, play safe si Reyes sa position ng bola na ito. At uh, yun nga talagang uh, hindi niya pinagbigyan itong kanyang kalaban at naitago pa rin dito sa mga bola na ito itong cue ball napakahusay talaga Yeah, you're losing 6 to 1, pal. Final match of the tournament and this is what you got. You have to win 6 in a row from here. How you like his chances, Billy? It, no, it's short. It's short and Efren has... At dito nga, mukhang bumigay na itong si uh, James Barak dito sa rack number 8, no? At uh, hindi niya talaga makontrol yung uh, pagkaka-play safe dyan. At dahil dyan, na-open ang table dito kay Reyes. sa uh, Open wide na yan at uh, maganda ang setup nitong mga bola. Kaya tingnan natin kung uh, maka-break maka -break and run si Reyes dito sa rack number 8 na ito at uh, mapansin natin na sa gawing kanan no yung uh, positioning dito at makikita natin si Reyes wala siya talagang uh, pakialam na dito at gusto na niyang tapusin itong laban na ito at uh, minsan na niyang pinagbigyan itong si Barak at uh, umiskor para hindi siya ma zero at uh, dito nga mapansin natin napakaganda ng mga pinapakita ni Efren Reyes Medyo dumikit itong uh, cue ball dito sa object ball niya, sa ball number 5. So, tingnan natin kung uh, magawa ng paraan niya yan dyan sa side pocket. Panoorin natin mga kabilyar. Away from the seven. Well, tell me this. If you were playing, would you rather be shooting or having him shoot? <laughs> well, of course, I'd rather be shooting. But, but, yeah. but I would much rather have him be shooting for me. Okay. But you see... <laughs> it, it, it turned out all simple. You know, there's no problems here. And uh, Barracks had no chance. The poor son of a gun. But in one way, he didn't have a chance to dog it either. You know what? I don't think he was going to dog it because he didn't seem like he was a bit nervous. And he looked like he was totally prepared. You know, if, if the few shots that he shot was any indication of how well... Panalo si Efren Reyes, no? 7-1 ang score natin dyan. Wala talagang... Uh pinagbigyan itong si Reyes at uh, nakita naman natin kung papaano ginawa ni Reyes na talonin itong kanyang uh, kalaban. At uh, mapansin natin dito mga kaibigan, itong kanyang uh, tako, no? Pakinggan natin itong interview sa kanya. Winner of the Derby City Classic, that's two years in a row, correct? Yeah, it's two, two years in a row, you know. Uh, the break, you know, this time the break is uh, helping me. Well, you certainly played well. I, you know, I noticed it was 14 games in a row almost at the end. He got one game. That was nice of you to let him get it. Uh, you won the all-around again. Uh, what does that mean to you and to people in the Philippines? 
Oh, I think siya ay they're happy, you know, if, uh, 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 laro ba for people in the Philippines too, they be happy, you know. I think they wait, waiting for me now. Well, it's terrific to see you win. I have one question about your queue, okay? Can I look at your queue? Okay. Did you do this rap yourself? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Is that your rap? Yeah. Okay. I guess that means to everybody it's not the queue, is it? No, that's only this rap. Only this rap. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Back to you, Billy and Danny. Thanks very much. Okay. Thanks a lot, Tony. And congratulations, Efren Reyes. Okay, Danny, you know, well, like I said before, it's been a pleasure. I always enjoy working with you, and once again, we were treated to a typical Efren Reyes performance. Yes, yes, it was good, and it was very, a lot of fun 